So Alexandre, a chocolate glaze is something completely different than a cocoa gel glaze. Tell me about it. Yeah, indeed, Philippe. Uh, chocolate glaze is made with real chocolate. It has a fine flavor with a real chocolate color. Okay, and it has obviously a better mouth feel. And let me guess, Alexandre, I'm sure that you have the right recipe here for us. Yes, Philip, it's easy. I'm going to make a recipe that we're going to use for the three different chocolates. So we're going to use the same recipe for dark milk and white glazing. What do we need? So we need obviously chocolate, a chocolate with three drops. Why is that? Well, the three drops is to get in the end obviously the perfect glazing, not too runny or either too stiff. What about the chocolate flavor? In this case, Philip, we're going to make a dark glazing. We're going to use a 70, 30, 38. Okay. So it's a chocolate that contains 70% cocoa, 30% sugar. Okay, so then you have an end glazing, which is less sweet. What else do we need? Well, we're going to need some water, glucose and sugar to okay. make a syrup. Syrup will give you the gloss to the product. Okay. Okay. We're going to use some sweetened condensed milk and also some gelatin mass. I have one question, yep. uh, Alexander. Why sweetened condensed milk? The sweetened condensed milk contain a uh, more dry solid, okay. okay, give you a perfect end result. Okay, Alexandra, maybe you can show us how to do that. Absolutely, Philip. So, we're going to combine the water, glucose, okay. here, and the sugar. Sugar. Okay, and we're going to cook that switch on and we're going to reach a temperature of 103 degrees Celsius. 103, so it seems to be quite important. Yeah, it's very important to reach that temperature because this will give you the perfect uh, viscosity at the glazing. If you are below that temperature, you might have a glazing too thin, too liquid, so it's going to run off the cake. Above that temperature, you might have a glazing too thick and that will create also air bubbles, which you don't want in your glazing. Yeah, makes sense. So, Philip, now it's going to take a couple of minutes, okay, to reach 103 degrees Celsius, and then after, we're going to pour over the chocolate. Philip, we just reached 103 degrees Celsius, so that's the perfect temperature to pour over the okay. chocolate. We're going to add, at that stage, also the condensed milk, and with a mixer, we're going to start to mix slowly. So you can hear that it's a uh, low speed, Alexander. Is that important? Yeah, it's very important, Philip, to mix on a low speed to avoid to create air bubbles. Okay. And as you can see, at the same time, I'm just going up and down, but very slowly for the same reason. We're going to remove the mixer. We're going to add gelatin mass. And here, you just need to ensure the gelatin is well melted. So you don't need the mixer anymore. Okay, just do with your spatula. If you can pass me, please, the pot. Of course. Okay, and I'll hold the chinois. Perfect. Okay, we're just going to sift. The chinois is just to ensure that you don't have any uh, more pieces remaining. Okay, just in case it's a security. The glazing is ready. Philip. It looks very good, eh? I think that we have to cover it, isn't it? Yeah. This will avoid to create a condensation, okay? And avoid to create, after cooling, a crust, okay? So it's very important. Let me do it for you. Thanks. So just cover it like that. And then we push yeah. the plastic on top of yeah. the glaze. It needs to be in contact. And then I think... We're going to put in, in the, the fridge. fridge. We need to stabilize the glazing for at least 24 hours. This will set perfectly the glazing, okay? And tomorrow we can use, just remelt the glazing around 35 degrees and you can glaze your pastries, okay? I have one more question, uh, Alexandre, for you. Uh, what is shelf life of this kind of uh, chocolate glazing? Well, you can keep uh, actually at four degrees Celsius uh, in the fridge, the product for seven to 10 days without any problem.